Hi everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Tri Artistry and today's video is about how to get silicone off your canvas prior to varnishing because if you don't, uh, this is what could happen and I'll, hopefully you can see it. So this has um, some bubbles. Before I varnished it, I did not take the time to get the silicone off it and so it has affected the canvas and then also the look of this piece so and this is one of my very first paintings i did and i was just trying to look to see what varnish would um, look like on it um way back then and um ruined it and so luckily it happened on something like this that i really didn't like that well anyway so for me um it was a success because it told me and it showed me what I needed to do. So I did a lot of research and learned um, some techniques uh, to help. So today I'm gonna show you how that is done uh, using just baby powder and Windex and then just a little bit of time. So, all right, well, let's get you down on the canvases to show you how to get silicone off your canvas so that you can varnish. All right, bye for now. Okay, I'm back everyone. So these are the canvases that we're gonna work on today. And I don't have anything underneath because I have a granite countertop here. So it's easy for me to wipe off and to vacuum off. Um, so I'm gonna use, uh, I'm not gonna put any plastic down today. So I just take the powder and I just cover lightly. You don't need a lot. And then, oh, there's the other one. Okay, so these are the two brushes I use. This one I do use to go more like this. This one I do more circular. So, um, and then I just really want to get into all the crevices of the paint painting and um, make sure that I get as much of the oil off as I possibly can. Uh, and if you do the sides, you're going to want to do the sides as well. So I'll just go down them. Uh, I have some paint along the sides. I don't have a lot of the silicone, but I'll just do that just in case. So I'll use this brush first, get it kind of all over. And it does create a mess, I understand, but what doesn't create a mess when we're painting? And I can tell already it's picking up oil just because you're seeing the thicker clumps uh, instead of the fine powder. So this one over here is definitely picking up oil right now. All right, let's get this. And most of the oil is gonna be centered in here, but there will be some on the edges because I did swipe, so. My dog must have heard somebody outside. She's buffing, that's what I call it. But she doesn't really, she'll bark, but then she'll also do this thing called buff. That we call buff. All right, I'm gonna let those sit for a little bit. And then. All right, so I'm gonna let these ones sit as well. Actually, I'm gonna separate that a little bit. Get some air in there. All right, I'll be back in about an hour. Okay, I'm back. So it's been about an hour, and now I'm gonna vacuum these up, and I'll vacuum up all the dust, and 
add in another layer. So I just, seriously, I just used my vacuum. Uh, and I just grabbed my little guy here. And this apparatus, this tool here, and I vacuum. So. Again, I mostly get in the middle just because that's where it's mostly at, but I still want to get all the sides of everything. And I'll let this sit again for about an hour. I'll go do some videos, some editing, some of the other things I've done. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit. All right, bye for now, be back soon. Hi, I'm back. Okay, it's been another hour, so I'm gonna vacuum this off and then I'll use the Windex to clean it off better. So let's get going on that. Handy dandy vacuum. Still got dust everywhere, you know, there's still dust on my hands and, and uh, but I was using this and that was kind of hard. My shoulder was getting tired. So I went to the other and it worked out really well. So the next thing that I do then is I use my Windex, right? But I don't spray directly on the paint, the canvases. I actually spray on um, my rag here and then I do the canvases, so. Yeah, I need to definitely varnish this. It will pop so much better if it's varnished. You can kind of see just by this adds a little bit of a sheen because it's wet. It looks much better. Now you also don't want to do this right after your paint dries or you think it's dry because it may not be. You need to wait a while. Uh, I think these were done um, a week ago and normally I probably would wait even longer than that for that them to cure. <clears throat> but her wedding is like in two weeks and I've got to get these done. So they're, um, it's kind of important for me to get her get her going. So that's why I went ahead and let's see if we try it on a week and hopefully we're good. And if it's not, I'll redo them again for her and then I'll give them to her later or something. But um, I do want to get these done as best I can beforehand. So anyway, uh, I don't know if this is, these are then the order that they're supposed to be in. I think it's something like that, I think. But anyway, okay, now I'm gonna let these sit again for a little while, um, uh, probably overnight, and then varnish them tomorrow. So we'll be back. Bye for now. Hi, everyone. Well, uh, today, even though it's February, 
and it is still snow out there. I'm outside because I gotta varnish um, some of my paintings and so um, it's 45 degrees out but the wind is kind of cold um, so the great thing is is there's not a lot of dust flying around because of the snow so we're gonna um, get you down and let, sh let me show you how I do my um, varnishing all right okay everyone here we go we're gonna start with the This is the product I'm using. Uh, this Windsor Newton varnish. Okay, it's still February, but look, the snow is melting. It's still cold out here though. But uh, I'm going to finish varnishing these guys. Okay, thanks. So these have got their second coat on them. They're nice and shiny. It really pops now that they have that second coat of varnish on there. So it um, should be fun to see what they look like on the wall. I'm excited to give those to her for her wedding. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what you liked about this, what you'd like to see in the future. And then of course, don't forget to click the notification bell. So that way you can get notifications when I get a new video up. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye for now.